What's up, y'all? Welcome back. O-T-B-O-T. T-Bob, Ribs, Jake, Musso, Danny hanging out with you today. And right now, it is our pleasure to be joined by uh, the man himself. He had an incredible day yesterday, an incredible career at LSU. Of course, we're talking about Jacoby Stevens. Jacoby, what's up, bro? Thank you so much for coming on this morning. Uh, thank you for having me. Um, okay, Jacoby, uh, let's just start with the recent news. Yesterday, Pro Day, uh, you killed it. You tested out of this world. How do you feel like yesterday went? You know, I, I felt like uh, today, uh, yesterday went re- really well, um, you know, especially with the vertical jump. Uh, you know, with the, you know, I'm, I'm also uh, satisfied with the 40 and the um, broad jump. You know, I was shooting for, you know, the trifecta with the lever broad and, uh, you know, at least in a 4 4 in the 40s, but, you know, a 4 or 5 flat and a 10 10, you can't, I guess you, can, you can't get too upset about that. <laughs> no, 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 not. I mean, those are numbers that jump off the page. Hey, Jacoby, like, we know that you went to the Senior Bowl and Jim Nagy had nothing but great things to say about you, the executive director there, because he's like, look, he came in, he did whatever we asked him to do. If it was linebacker, if it was safety, whatever it might be. Do you have a preference, maybe what position that you do play? Uh, have you kind of gotten your body where you can maybe play both? Because I know for me, I was kind of in the same situation. I didn't really know if they wanted me to play running back, fullback, whatever it was. So with my weight, it was always like, I guess if I stay around like 225, I'll be okay at either position. Are you kind of in that right now, or do you have a preference what position you play? Oh, uh, Right now, I mean, it's, uh, like, like, uh, you hit it right on the head. It's just about what the team uh, needs me uh, to, uh, to play. You know, I weighed in at 212 at the pro day. And, you know, uh, with the um, Zoom calls and the meetings I've been getting, you know, teams never really said uh, – just you're a safety or you're a linebacker. They asked me about my hybrid position, and when I did uh, like right uh, right on the boards, there were some times where you know they'll uh, make me draw the defense up as a safety, and then they made me draw the defense up as a linebacker. And then there are some some calls where I did both. So um, it's just really where the team wants me to play. But I, I think uh, weighing in at two twelve uh, was good for me. Um, you know, I you know I was able to show my explosiveness there. And, uh, you know, if I need to gain a couple more pounds to, uh, to play a more uh, linebacker, I, you know, putting on that type of that good weight would, uh, wouldn't be hard either. Yeah, and, and, and now, Jacoby, I want to talk to you a bit about uh, your college experience because you, without a doubt, have had one of the most uh, fascinating in both good and bad ways experiences ever where, you know, you're a key member of this 15-0 and national championship team, the highest of eyes, maybe the most dominant team in college football history. And then, again, you're a key member of next year's team where things start to go awry and, and a strong finish, definitely, to finish 5-5. Five and five. You see it all the way through. Uh, how do you feel like you emerged on the other side after going through that kind of that, that, that tumultuous journey? Yeah, well, when I talk about, you know, from- uh, 2019 and the 2020 season, you know, I uh, say, of course, you love the 2019 season. Uh, you know, dominating all, uh, all 15 games in the national championship, going to take that, you know, you know, with you forever. But the uh, 2020 season, I say, that's the season that I grew as uh, grew more as a player and as a person. Um, it taught me that you know things aren't going to go your way. And, and, and the question arose on many occasions, what are you going to do now? Um, you know, your back's against the wall. You know, all eyes are on you. Everybody, you know, everybody's down on you. It's just you and your brothers. It's just you and your coaches and your teammates. What are you going to do? You know, how are you going to respond? And that's what I think from that 2020 season. I mean, of course, nobody, you know, nobody goes into the season and say, hey, let's go 5-5 five five this year. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. So, yeah. You know so, when, so when that, you know, when you – playing in the year and you kind of, uh, like you said, we were kind of behind the eight ball, but as a team and we, we, the young guys rallied and we rallied back together and we were able to finish 500. And, I, and like, like you said, we finished on the strong yeah. note. So now it's for those guys there, the leaders there and the, uh, and the younger guys who stepped up towards the end of the year. Uh, that's why I'm very excited to see what they're going to do this year because of how being put in a very bad position with COVID-19 and, you know, not having an off season, and then just thrown into an SEC schedule. Those young guys were forced to grow so fast, and they did this. So I'm really excited to see what they do this year. Now, Jacoby, I know normally you'd be going to Indy for the combine, and you'd have the chance to sit down with almost every team, and you'd, in my opinion, blow them away with your football knowledge and kind of just your story at LSU and, and changing positions and sticking around and 
not leaving early and coming back and, and then being in this year not opting out and finishing what you started because I think that is something that can go a long way to an NFL uh, GM or an NFL head coach. But when you were at the Senior Bowl, were you able to have those conversations about the way that you did finish your career and about how when you first got to LSU, you literally were like, put me in any position, offense or defense, and I'm going to go out there. I just want to play. Like, Were you able to showcase that at the Senior Bowl? Definitely. Um, well, like you said, uh, at, this, uh, at, in, uh, at the uh, true combine, we would meet with just like every team. But right. at the Senior Bowl, that was one of the benefits of going this year is because we were actually be able, able to meet with all 32 teams. Oh, wow. And the question – yeah, yes, sir. So the so the uh, question, you know, Rose was, what position would I want to play? And my answer was, uh, any position you guys would want me to. Yeah. And they came back and I was like, don't give me the, you know, the agent prep answer. You know, tell me, tell me like what what position you really want to play. And I told, and I, you know, and I in polite way I said, uh, well, if you go back and look at my track record at LSU, this is something that I that I've done before. Yeah. I go. I went. I went to LSU, went to a top tier school, and wherever they need me, you know, they they literally changed me from position to position. I think five times in one season because that's what the team needed. <laughs> uh, I mean, <laughs> you know? I'm trying to sit here and count, Jacoby. I mean, you've played like some H back. <laughs> yep. You played obviously yeah. safety. Yep. You've played some linebacker. Mm -hmm. I remember you playing as an edge rusher in 2018 oh, at yeah. Auburn that's and right. walking <laughs> walking the left tackle back into the quarterback's lap. So that's four positions off the top of my head. <laughs> That you played in your LSU career? Oh uh, yes, I played quite a few positions, and you know, and that's the thing that I'm that I'm proud of. I mean, because being moved around like that, you know, the coaches have to trust you. They're not going to do that to uh, anybody they don't feel like they can handle uh, handle that. And being put in those positions, I took a lot. I learned a lot, especially uh, looking in, at some situations from a different point of view. Uh, looking um, at a uh, situation from a linebacker's point of view, outside linebacker, edge rusher, even on the offensive side of the ball. I mean, it's kind of like I was a secret spot in certain situations uh, that year. Uh, you know, when I first moved to receiver, uh, DJ Chark and Russell Gage thought I was giving the plays to the uh, <laughs> <laughs> So I was like, no, nah, man, I'm really on this side. So, yeah. <laughs> so uh, you know, it, you know it, it was fun uh, doing that. And, you know, uh, like I said, I really grew and I benefited from that. Uh, Jacoby, so it's, it, you're in an interesting spot where like, uh, you have so many former teammates and friends that have now gone on to the NFL, uh, outside of just making great money. Uh, what are you looking forward to most about like taking football to the next level? Well, it's, it's a dream come true. I mean, I, I, um, growing up, you know, you always dream about going to the NFL and, and just playing and playing with those elite guys and, and being able to prove yourself. And just having that opportunity to, to to live a to live a dream and work a job that you always dreamt about um, is amazing. I mean, a, a lot of a lot of people don't have that type of opportunity and really don't uh, get to do that. So being able to do that, I'm going to cherish every every moment. All right. So what's the plan now? Now that you've gotten the Senior Bowl and you've gotten Pro Day out of the way, and you got the draft coming up, what's going to the next couple of weeks kind of look like for you? Uh, so the well, the first thing that uh that I try, uh, uh checked off my list was go get a burger from Walk Ons. That's the first thing I did after that pro day. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, like dude. There, there we go. go. Yes, there you go. I haven't ate like that in, in three months. So I went to get me a burger. So that's one check. Uh, you know, I marked off. But really, true is to stay in shape, stay in shape, um, work out, get back to the diet that I was on. Um, and, and just get ready, and just get ready, and stay ready. I mean, that's that's really what in the NFL is all about: staying ready and, uh, you know, being a professional. Um, that that's that really is all about. It's, it's not a, um, you know, it's, it's a job. So it's not something that you know we're just. Hey, you you have a fun playing it, but it has a little bit more stake into it now. <laughs> that that is so great that that was your answer because I remember how difficult that was. You're training for the combine. And they're telling you exactly, Jacoby, what you can and can't eat. They've got these prep meals for you. I can remember thinking, just like, just give me like a starburst. Like I would, I would, I would enjoy like one starburst right now. Just something that was different, right? And I remember my first meal after I got done because I was the same way that you were. I was trying to, you know, be as fit as I could. I think I ate like 
at least three thousand calories in like one city. Oh yeah, dude. It's like it's like the Rock's <laughs> cheat days on Instagram where he just has right. like seven thousand pancakes in front of him. Um Jacoby, thank you so much, man, for joining us this morning. Like we said, I thought you kicked ass yesterday, man. Uh I can't wait to see what you do on Sundays in the NFL. And uh and look outside of just on the field. I mean, do you, do you agree with this? Do you feel like, and I know you touched on this, but like last year and just sticking around and becoming that upperclassman, like I, I feel like are, are teams telling you that you bring a lot of value leadership-wise as well? Or do you feel like you are? Uh, yes, sir. I, I think I think that I do. Um, you know, being put in the position that I did last year of uh, uh, being forced to grow in, the, in that sense. Um, uh, you know, that question is asked a lot. And they, and they asked me, how did I uh, react in that situation? And, and I said that, you know, it took coaches like Coach O, Coach Raymond, Coach Bush, all those guys came to me and they talked to me about, you know, helping the young guys grow up. I mean, I mean, that's, I mean, that's really what, what the, uh, what it was. And, um, taking those situations that, you know, that I, that I regret having in 2020 on how I reacted in certain situations. You know, I learned from them, and learning from those situations, I became a better leader because I know what not to do, how hard to push. And, and that's one thing that I learned about being a leader. Uh, how you lead somebody is different to that person. You can't lead everybody the same because everybody's not the same. So some people, you know, they can take the little push, or some people you need to comfort them a, a little bit more and and uh, guide them, you know, guide, guide them to, the, uh, to that place. But, uh, there's little things that I learned, and uh, that's, it's def- it was definitely a question that was asked uh, during the um, Zoom call. There you go, Jacoby Stevens, uh, going to be in the league next year. Great LSU Tiger, Natty Champ, among many other things. Jacoby, thank you so much for waking up with us, man. Yes, sir. Thank you. Uh, all right, when we get back, time for a little Ask the Bench, brought to you by Cold Delicious Curse Light. So keep a watch right here on Offense. 